Hello everyone, this is Providence, and I'm back with another exciting tutorial on Grasshopper and Rhino. Today, I want to take you through the process of remodeling a fascinating project called Little Island, designed by Thomas Heatherwick, located in New York City, USA. Little Island is a unique public park that features three stunning performance venues nestled on the Hudson River. Designed as a haven for people and wildlife, it is a green oasis, held above the water by sculptural planters. In this tutorial, we will focus on creating the surface and then we will create Voronoi Grid, after we will project grid to surface, Voronoi Grid inspired by patterns found in nature. We will then explore how to offset each cell of the grid and loft them together to achieve an intricate design. Although this process may seem simple, it is essential to understand the underlying algorithm to accomplish such intricate designs. By learning from the visionary architect like Thomas Heatherwick, we can gain inspiration and insight which can help us into owner conceptual projects. I strongly believe that through parametric tools Grasshopper and Rhino 3D, we can replicate the behaviors observed in nature without simply imitating it. This project will showcase the power of computational design in achieving remarkable architectural results. I hope you'll find this tutorial both educational and inspiring. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like the video to support the channel. As always you can find Grasshopper file in description of video on YouTube. Let's dive into the world of architecture and computation design together. Welcome once again, this is your boy Providence and today as usual I'm super excited about today's task. So today I want to, to show you simple steps. Let's start. Ah. It's a simple project as you see it has a few nodes which I'm going to show you how you can uh, achieve similar. You can see I can define uh, this column, this column stuff. I don't know the name, how you can call it. I can increase the number I want and all decrease it, it, this, the same any way I want. You can see it is pretty much similar to uh, Island. So let's start. As usual, let's disable this old script so that we may we make our own script. Uh, we we make it together. Let's make it again together. Disable and put it out the canvas. Here. Uh, let me show how we start first. Uh, we have. Uh, platform or surface top surface which you made up with loft uh, you can see i made the loft between interpreted loft surface between um this six curve you, which you can define in your own way uh, what i want to show you which is how you can uh, achieve the project but Above the top, you can make any surface you want, any topology you want. Uh, the main things is to achieve this similar uh, project like that one. Let's do it first. First of all, let's start by importing them to Grasshopper. Uh, we put, bring the, bring it in the Grasshopper. So, and then we hide it. Uh, let's do it first. Populate to the pop, populate self, uh, geometry here. We populate the surface, and then uh, we can define the number of count. Let's put two hundred, which we can increase or decrease. Uh, we put count. Okay. And then we find Veronoi, Veronoi, 
Volanoi. Uh, Volanoi. Uh, we use this one again. You can find it in mesh. Uh, uh, here in mesh, so that it's here. Volanoi. Um, the Veronoi, I will explain in another time how Veronoi works, but here you can use it directly from Grasshopper. So, uh, Veronoi requires that DS which you don't want it. The right DS it is uh, this corner if you want to shove the corner or, or curve the corner any way you want. So, and require the border. Border is the surface we have. Okay, now it's done. As you see, it is not on the surface. Let's see what we can do. First of all, let's scale the main surface that, so that we can uh, project our curve to surface. If we project directly to the surface, uh, the, the this Vernoy cell. Uh, we end up not becoming closer, so that's what we don't want. So here, that's why I'm going to discard it so that it goes beyond the boundary we have. We scale 1.2 to exceed the boundary we have. Okay. Center. Here you can use centroid. But here I have plugin, uh, which which gave me the sentence comes from the uh, heteroportal by human. I don't know if I pronounce very good, but I'm going to link down the, uh, the plugin down in the description so that you can get it by yourself. Uh, but if you don't have this plugin, it's okay. You can make boundary dogs and find the centroid. So it be the same, the same result. Then put put it here. Sorry, <laughs> uh, we have to get centroid of this one. I was shocked what I was, what was happening. Again, you want to have surface. Yeah. Then we have to project this very noise to our surface project. Yeah. I think we now we have it to our surface. Yeah, what we have to do now uh, it is to cut out surface we don't want, which one the one we exaggerated in order to to uh, to in, in order to project. So, so going to spread the surface, which you can get it. I think here an intersection. Uh, here and get it easily. Curve and surface and get second item. You can use build up or surface any any of them will work. Okay. Now we have our volume already. So what we are going to do, we are going to scale them. Fans area. Find the centroid. It's not working again. Also here you can make boundary surface uh, about boundary box uh, 
and then find uh, centroid on this one volume volume centroid which will give you center centroids so we want to scale from there so it's the same to use this plugin I have which give you the center direct uh, but let's imagine that you don't have that plugin let's use it that way we want to scale them so let me bring the uh, the scale I use it here so that we use it It's as simple as uh, the first one you don't want to scale it, the second one to scale it, uh, to scale it a little bit, third one up to the dust. The last will be the one which will be down there. So I want to move them to negative Z direction. Move them again with uh, the number the, the z direction I define it here which I had to copy and paste but let's do it for saving our time What I done simply is that I have moved all all, all curve I want except the last one because the last one is the one I want to have control on. Here we have how many six, and here we have six by each which we work i think yeah then let's see loft if it work or not then cloth will work but as you know i don't like to use loft directly because it is kind of heavy it's heavy uh, for calculating what I want to use uh, is the mesh loft sorry not this one mesh loft which come up with the uh, plugin I have which I have which a link down there in the description below it's complaining because uh, here probably what we have it is not a uh, polyline you see this get polyline let's rebuild the curve first to make sure that we have polyline rebuild the curve by degree of one so the degree of one give us always uh, give us all uh, yeah see no longer complaining yeah we are done you know just in 13 minutes we are done that's it that's what you have to do it's a simple process and it's a amazing project with our grasshopper we are able to design complex pro we are done to the tutorials so again this script you can download it from description below and learn from it and try to achieve a similarly like this one and and subscribe share uh, 
comment any advice you want to give me uh, i would like to hear your advice and see you next time bye bye ciao